Sovin Quadratic Equations Method 1 by factorization method example example 1 solve x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0 Solution. To solve this equation, x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0, we first factorize the expression on the left hand side and we equate to 0. To factorize the expression on the left hand side, we first identify the mineral term. This is the mineral term. The mineral term is equal to negative 7x. We also find the product of the first term and the last term. The product of the first term and the last term is 10x squared. We now obtain two factors whose sum is equal to negative 7x, the mineral term, and whose product is equal to the product of the first term and the last term, that is 10x squared. Therefore, we look for two factors that end up to negative 7x and when multiplied they give us 10x squared the two factors are negative 5x head negative 2x we now replace the mineral term of our original equation which is x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. We replace the mineral term negative 7x with the two factors. This gives x squared minus 5x minus 2x plus 10 is equal to 0. We now factorize by pairing. We pair the first two terms and check what is common. X is common in the first two terms. We write X, open the brackets. X minus 5, close the brackets. Minus, in the last two terms, minus 2 is common. Open the brackets into X minus 5 is equal to 0 x minus 5 is again common therefore we just write it once x minus 5 the other factor is x minus 2 close the brackets we equate to 0 therefore we have two factors that we are multiplying together to give us 0 this means Either x minus 5, the first factor is equal to 0, or x minus 2, our second factor is equal to 0. This gives x is equal to 5, or x is equal to 2. Therefore, the solution to the given quadratic equation is x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 2. 
These are also called the rooks, the rooks of a given quadratic equation. The rooks are x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 2. Example 2. Solve 2y squared minus 5y minus 18 is equal to 0. Solution. Again, we have in our equation 2y squared minus 5y minus 18 is equal to 0. The mineral term is negative 5y. This is our mineral term. The product of the first term and the last term is 2y squared times minus 18, which gives negative 36y squared. We now obtain two factors whose sum is equal to negative 5y and product is equal to negative 6y squared. Two factors that turn up to negative 5y and product is negative the 6y squared and r negative 9y head 4y because negative 9y plus 4y is negative 5y and negative 5 negative 9y times 4y is negative the 6y squared we now replace the mineral term of our quadratic equation which is 2y squared minus 5y minus 18 is equal to 0. We replace the mineral term with the two factors. This gives 2y squared minus 9y plus 4y minus 18 is equal to 0. We identify the first two terms and get the common factor. The common factor is y into 2y minus 9 plus 2 is common in the RASI 2, 2 into black x, y, 2y minus 9 is equal to 0. Again now, We now obtain two factors whose sum is equal to negative 5y and product is equal to negative 6y squared. Two factors whose sum is equal to negative 5y and product is equal to negative 6y squared are negative 9y and 4y. 
we now replace the mean rule term of the equation 2y squared minus 5y minus 18 is equal to 0 with the two factors. This is the mean rule term. We replace it with the two factors minus 9y plus 4y minus 18 is equal to 0. We now factorize by pairing. We consider the first two terms. Y is common in the first two terms. Open the bracket into 2y minus 9. Close the bracket. Plus, 2 is common in the next two terms. In the last two terms, 2 is common. So, 2 into brackets. Y, 2y minus 9 is equal to 0. Again, 2y minus 9 is common. 2y minus 9 into brackets. The other factor is y plus 2 is equal to 0. 